Hey guys, welcome. We are over here. Black Mountain, Montana map. And we are starting a new series. That I am going to be calling Black Mountain Stables. We are here on field three. Just uh, collecting some straw bales. We were able to buy this field and uh, collect the oats off of it for our horses. <laughs> and I have to say, I have got one of the most ugliest loads of straw here I have ever seen. But if there was ever any doubt that that was loaded manually, <laughs> well, I don't think you should be doubting, doubting it anymore. Got our T7 over there bailing. Just about done. I'm going to be taking this load of straw over to the cow farm, which is run by my son. I have sold the, the old homestead to, uh, to him and have moved across, across the county. And uh, right at the base of Black Mountain. And we run a stable business. We give tours to the city folk. They want to come out here and pay us all kinds of money to, uh, to ride horses up in the Black Mountains. They might get a chance to see some wild animals. Deer. Elk. They're really lucky. They get to stay a fairly good distance away from the bear. Got a few uh, bears up there. A few good bear sightings happen every year. Got a little cabin up there that uh, they can pay, of course, extra money to stay in. It's quite quite a lucrative business. Be surprised what those city slickers would uh, will pay money for. You know, I would never pay money to. Uh, spend the night up there in that cabin but uh, for some reason they're willing to shell out a couple hundred bucks for a uh, for a weekend uh, that includes an overnight stay up in the mountains we're gonna need this straw just for our, not only for our cows we've got a hundred and twenty five cows that we're trying to care for also have, um, gosh, I don't know, 25 or so chickens. These things reproduce like mad. And we've got uh, 24 horses, I think. 16 horses, maybe? I don't remember. Gonna need all the straw we can muster. sure that these bales do not fall off. I think we can get another eight on there before we have to uh, haul these down to the uh, cow farm. Another eight on here, real easy. Now I noticed that this trailer is awful wide. Lots of bale trailers you run across. Seems like they can hold two bales side by side, and that is about it. I think uh, this trailer, I mean, it won't hold three, but three would have. The bales on the outside overhanging a fair bit. But, uh, I mean, it, it easily fits two bales wide and then gives you plenty of plenty of space on either either side for the bed. 
the four high, we're going to be able to get 24 bales on here. Not any difficult at all. I don't know how many bales we have left on the field here, but uh, we're going to need plenty of straw. We still need to mix up our mixed rations for our cows. Find some grass. We're doing a fair bit of bale work. Here on the map. I think what we'll do is we'll just go ahead and bring you back once we get this load down to the farm. And I'll show you the old homestead place. So we went ahead and sent the tractor on down the farm. Get ourselves quite a load. Take it kind of easy. Don't want to want to dump the load here. Just keep an eye on it in the mirrors. Sure, she's doing pretty good. Thankfully, thankfully, we've got really nice access roads here between the fields. Nice and smooth. Let's see, is anybody coming? No, we look good. He's out. It's good. So there you can see the old homestead. Cow barn there. Sheds, our pride and joy farm semi is uh, parked over here. We had uh, used it to haul the oats. There's my old truck. Sentimental kid went and had to refurbish the old the old man's pickup from back in the day. And that's what he uses now around the farm. Friend is park this here. And go ahead and straps. Go. And now I guess we're going to have to uh, have to unload the uh, load the trailer. We're going to see if we can't uh, maybe shred a little bit of that in the um, what's up with the camera? There we go. I don't know. We might have to shred some of that uh, some of that straw. We're going to have to do this from outside the cab just because, well, I'm just not good enough. Not practiced enough in doing this first person. Went ahead and set up the straw blower over here. Access here between uh, between the cows and the uh, the field. Take it easy. Let's see if we can. This bale dropped in here.
see if that works. If that helps, that is annoying. No idea how many bales this is going to take. I have a feeling it's going to take more than a few. I think we're just going to have to uh, sacrifice a few soybean plants for the for the for the sanctity of getting this uh, straw blown in. So we're going to go ahead and blow the rest of this straw in here. And I'll be back with you once again. I really want to show you, I really want to take you over to the uh, stables. That's my pride and joy nowadays. Show you the stables. Got a little hay we got to bale over there. Oh no! said this is a pretty bad load of straw I haven't had to uh, I haven't had to stack straw in years so we got we got the chance to uh, harvest that field for old man Jenkins and we weren't gonna let it let it slide he had planted oh my gosh what did he plant he planted oats but for some reason he didn't have any need for the oats so he went and called us up told us how he had planted oats for some reason yet he didn't have a need for them and he was like hey y'all y'all got horses and you need straw so why don't you come over here and uh, and harvest my field for me So we had to pay him a little money, but the uh, market price on the oats, we ended up having to pay him. But it was well worth it. Let's see if we can grab ourselves. <laughs> Grab ourselves some extra bales. Uh-oh. Oh. What was that? Like, like the bale ejection script. Alright. Like I said, we're going to go ahead and... dump this bales Let's see how we're doing so we're probably still in the red on these things oh my look at that blowing straw all day long so it took us a little longer than expected to get all the bales off this field and I decided to stack the trailer a little different this time. I think I got an extra four bales on there. I think I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven stacks of four. We got a little squirrely there. 
toward the um, oh toward the toward the front. But we got them on there, and it turns out we had four bales left, which thankfully we were able to put on the back of the truck here. So we're gonna go ahead and leave that um, leave the trailer there for a moment. I'm gonna head down to the cow farm. And see about getting these four bales offloaded. Then we're going to come back up here and pick up our. We're going to pick up our um, trailer and head on over to. Oh, I've got to replace that sign. We're going to head on over the cat or the horse farm. Check it out. Show you guys what we've got over there. At uh, Black Mountain Stables. Traffic on this area. There are no rush to get anywhere. Park this here. Let's take all the straps. But yeah, I mean, the truck holds uh, four bales fairly well. I think the bed could be just a little bit wider. All right, we're going to stick the bales in here under this shed for now. Won't take long. Those two also need to get our. Uh, Figure out what kind of trailer we're going to use to haul our wheat over here to the horse farm. Can't use the big semi to uh, to haul wheat or, or grain over or oats. Sorry, not wheat, oats. Can't use the big semi to haul our oats. We're going to have to uh, squeeze. We're going to have to get a smaller trailer. Sun's being nice enough to let us store his oats or store our oats in his grain bin. But, uh, yeah, we're going to need to get a couple loads of oats here in the next day or so. New trucks are quiet. You can barely tell they're running when they're inside let's just head on over here and get our trailer Quite a load. Oh, let's see, can we? All right. I don't know how well this is going to pull, so I'm just going to take her easy, I suppose. The truck's squatting down a little bit.
got the heavy duty heavy duty springs on her, but still. It's a fair bit of weight. On the front. Yeah. Front of the load got a little little squirrely there. Just trying to push them. Push them back straight, but they didn't seem to want to go. Let's put our flashers on since we do have such a heavy load here. See the trailer handles very well for having such a tall load on it. It's about the time I give the the trailer praise. The load's going to shift on me. It's going to want to roll the whole thing. Got a field of corn there. I think we might be able to talk. Uh, Talk to farmer into letting us harvest that for him. Sure would help with the cash flow. We have the power traction to get up the hill. looking at those, those hillsides there still got to go through here and mark some new trails some new riding trails but here we are as we crest the, the hill here we are we're home back at black mountain stables been a long day over at the uh over at the other farm, helping out, trying to get these oats in and get the straw in. Let's see. This turn. Oh, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna stick the straw bales up under there. For now, we're gonna bring them over here. Let's see here. Let's for now. Let's park the truck right here. Drop the trailer. Load hauled came on pretty well. Pretty impressed with this little trailer. Go over here, and I'll just show you the Black Mountain stables. We've got our horses in there. Getting a little restless. I think they see the hay over here. And uh, they're getting a bit hungry. Let's go ahead and see if we can't... Um, can't bale a few bales of hay. And uh, maybe get them fed. Already got them some water. It on oh. Most full. This tractor is quite, quite handy to have around. Uh, 
Not sure how many bales we're going to get off of this field, but uh, it's meadow, but it looks like it's going to be pretty good. We're up to three bales, and we haven't even gotten one way around. Not even sure how many bales of hay I'm going to need to feed these guys. I've got some leftover bales of hay. I'm going to be I'm going to be bringing them over to the other farm, give Patrick some of the bales for the cows. Like I said, we are fresh out of silage, we're fresh out of hay, and we were fresh out of straw up until earlier today. Now we're good to go. I know he likes to handle the big square bales. I don't know if he's going to be very appreciative of our round bale gift. You know what? It's a gift, and all the rest needs to just say thank you very much and move on. I think what we're going to do is we're going to finish this this pass here. Then I want to try to uh, see if I can try out these new bale spikes I got. I got a pair of bale spikes to go on the back of that case tractor. And it should allow me to haul about four bales of uh, four bales of hay at a time. also excited because this is working great. I tied in, I got a new system, and I tied the round baler into the tractor's um, braking system, transmission. So when the baler is full, it just stops the tractor. Helps me significantly keep from uh, from overdriving and, and losing, losing hay on the field. All right, well. That does it. Get this one bale out of here. Let's head over here. See if we can't figure out which. All right, the ones on the left go on the front. Ones on the right go on the rear. Just like the spikes that we were using to pick up the straw with. Except, uh, pair go on the back. Let me hopefully be able to slide into. Four bales. See how well this works. I'm gonna move. Bring the front one in here. Stab that bale that way. That didn't work out very good now, did it? Let's see if we can get better lined up on this. Maybe we can do a better job looking at it straight ahead.
Yep. Gonna lower the rear forks. I think that'll work to uh, clear the hay off of this field. There we go, look at that. That seems to work pretty good. What do you guys think? See why we can't bring the semi in here to uh, give these guys oats. They just won't. Uh, semi obviously won't fit on in here. It's just too darn big. I think we need to get a small trailer. Bring it in here. see how how are they doing oh they're gonna take a lot more than that let's see let's try putting it on the back first this time This is working real, real good. It's got to get lined up a little bit better. There's a pair of in-game bail things kind of work like this so I kind of like these they get the job done and these work with square or round bales the uh, in-game ones only work with round bales. There we go, another 16. Guys, we're going to go ahead and continue baling this hay and uh, feeding our horses till we get them all the way topped off. We'll see how many hay bales we've got left to uh, send over to Patrick's farm. I don't know how many we're going to end up with. Hope you guys liked the video. If you did, please go ahead and click that like button. We've got plenty of more action here to come on Black Mountain Stables on the Black Mountain Montana map.
Just getting our groove. Trying to get the series up and running. It's always a little slow at start, but uh, check in every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday for the next edition of Black Mountain Stables. Until next time, happy farming.